So it was asked if I could do the uh, volume of a pentagonal pyramid without the music and just me talking, which seems less exciting, but it is what it is. I'm going to try to do my best. This is a pentagonal pyramid because it has a point at one end and at the bottom there's pentagon, so hence the pentagonal pyramid component. Now, the real the reality is you're going to have to know the height of the figure, and the height of the figure is not the height of the side. So if you're given height of the side, you're going to have to do a little bit of trig maybe to find out what the height of the figure is. So make sure in your picture there's a right angle and the bottom is uh, in the bottom of the figure to the top is the height that they're giving you because that's the important height for, to do volume because it's important. So just make sure you have that. Now let's get to the uh, formula itself. So the formula for volume. I'm going to move this out of the way for a second, is big B times height. So, And big B refers to the area of the base, and we'll talk about that in just a minute. Now, the idea that I showed in the video uh, with when I poured water in was the idea that when I have this figure, the pyramid, it's actually one-third of the volume of this. So if I have a prism, so the top's so it fits right in, so the bottom and the top are the same. But the reality is, um, if I wanted to fill up this entire prism, it would take three of these to do it. So if I need to know how much stuff will go inside, which is what volume is, how much stuff goes inside, um, if I know, need to know the volume of this figure, I need to multiply by one-third because this base height formula just gives me the volume of this. So just make sure anytime there's a pointy end, you do area of the base times height times one-third. That's important. Now, let's get down to it. The height we already know because it came in a little strip of paper inside the figure, which is 14. So 14 there times one third. Now I need to find the area of base, or big base, if you'd like. Uh, so I need to find the area of this figure, which is a regular pentagon. And I know it's regular because it makes a nice, beautiful pyramid that looks pretty. Probably they'll tell you too. That kind of helps. But the reality is, in order to find big base, I need to find the area of this regular figure. And there's a couple ways that you can do it. One of which is to use the formula for a regular uh, polygon, which is area equals one half apothem times perimeter. Apothem would be the distance from the center of the figure that makes a nice right angle intersection with this line. So it perpendicularly uh, bisects it, in more or less. So that value is 5 from my figure above. You also need to know the side dif dif distance, I'm sorry, the distance of each side. Or they might just give you a generic component about perimeter and you can work it out for yourself. So using this method, my apothem would be 5, my perimeter would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times 7, so 35, and then 1 half. A lot of people just put 7 there, so if they give you a side, make sure that you multiply it by the number of sides. That's key. And when I work this out, I get 87.5. And this would be an in inches squared or whatever unit that you're going to use. So your square, so I'm going to put units squared there just so you know what it's supposed to be. The other way you can do it if you don't like or can't remember the formula or you can just really get into the idea of doing a triangle is you can make triangles from the center of the figure. In this case, the area of a triangle is one half base times height. Well, you have the base, which is 5, and the height would be, I'm sorry, the base would be 7, and the height would be 5. So this is supposed to go over here, I'm sorry, because the side length would be the distance here, and then times 1 half. So you do half of 35, and you get 17.5 would be the number of triangles inside the figure. Now, you can count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of those triangles. So if there are 5 triangles, and each one of those triangles is 17 and a half, then your total area of the figure would be 87.5. What a surprise. Once again, it's in units squared. This could be inches squared or whatever. Sorry, I fell off the paper there. So that's how you come up with the big base component. So I'm going to write that back up here where big base is supposed to go, or area of the base, as it were. And this is unit squared. This is going to give me in units because the height of it is just a single dimension. I don't know why I put a 2 there. I meant to put just 1, sorry. Um, so I'm going to work this out. So I do 87.5 times 14 times 1 third. And it gives me a final volume of 408 and 1 third units 
cubed. And it's a cubed measure here, or a unit is cubed here, because it's a three-dimensional figure. So this represents how many dimensions are in the figure most of the time with units. So there it is.